medieval England, livery and heraldic badges were worn by the followers, retainers and dependents of powerful people and houses. Wearing a badge depicting the emblem of a particular person indicated your loyalty and allegiance to that person. The white boar was the symbol of Richard III. When Richard III came to the throne in 1483, he had 8,000 badges commissioned, all of them in the shape of a boar. We found two in Yorkshire. One of them, from Stillingfleet, is made of cast silver and then gilded with a gold foil. It's in the shape of a rather fierce looking boar with the comb and all his skin and, and hair detailed out. But if we turn it round, we can see the back is flat, but with a suspension loop, so we know it's fixed to something, perhaps a hat, some clothing, even possibly horse harness because badges were worn by retainers, by supporters of the king. And in the late 15th century, that was very important. We're just beginning the Wars of the Roses, the, the fighting and the disputes between the Tudor dynasty, which was to follow, and Richard III himself. So this one probably was worn by somebody who was close to Richard, or certainly close to Richard's court, a very important person. The second badge, uh, and the less significant badge, which actually though comes from Midland Castle, Richard's childhood home, is made of a thin metal, a copper alloy, and stamped rather than cast. It's larger, it's a little bit more brassy in the way it looks. Um, and if you turn it round, we can see that it's been pressed out of a very thin piece of metal, but again with a, uh, a suspension loop or a pin perhaps on the back of it. This one probably more likely to have been worn in a hat and by a supporter of not quite the same rank as the silver badge from Stillingfleet. Either way, they're important reminders that even in the late 15th century, supporting and, and giving your allegiance to a king was very important, much perhaps as we wear a, a badge today supporting our local football club or, or the pop band or rock band that we're most enamoured with. Badges of precious metal were reserved for supporters of higher status. Some 8,000 badges were produced for the coronation of Richard in 1483. A further 13,000 were commissioned for the investiture of the King's son Edward as Prince of Wales in York Minster. Locals loyal to the King turned out in their thousands. The owner of the York Boar badge may have even been present at the occasion. The symbol of Richard III is the white boar. The symbol was used because boars are associated with courage and ferociousness. Uh, the white aspect of it is a symbol of loyalty. Boars are particularly ferocious because they're very territorial animals and they're quite large, bigger than you think they might be. Uh, the huge tusks on the front of the face, uh, they're very strong, they're, they're quite pointed and they do a lot of damage. Hunting is the preserve of the rich and the powerful, so having the resources to go out and kill a boar uh, takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money. So actually killing a boar is a very important thing to do. It's, it's a big trophy. The boar badge is certainly a fitting symbol for a king because of the strength and the power associated with the animal. The tusk here is over a thousand years old, comes from the early medieval period. And you can see the size of them in the palm of my hand, how large they are and how useful they are as weapons. They're very pointed at the end. Um, this is something that could do a lot of damage. The fact that they've been in the ground for well over a thousand years and still maintain their integrity and are, and are very, very strong shows how powerful they would have been able to be used. Made of silver gilt and representing a white boar, the badge is a rare find. The York boar is one of only a handful of precious metal boar livery badges ever discovered. Of all the metal boar badges that have been discovered, thus far no two have ever been the same. This suggests that different metal workers worked regionally or locally to produce badges rather than any single central workshop being responsible for their production. York-based jeweller Charmian Ottaway has recently been commissioned to create a replica of the boar badge for sale within the Yorkshire Museum. When this project came up I was set to work on the original and that took me quite a long time to get my head around how to carve it and draw. I had to go and draw it and photograph it and keep going back to look at it because I wasn't allowed to take it out of the museum. You hand carve an original out of silver, a big block of silver, and you have to measure the, 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 the deepest point, which was his ear. And then you carve back the silver, so you've got the highest point to the lowest point, which you know, varied from about four millimetres to 
0.8 of a millimetre. I mean, that's a lot of silvers to hand carve away. And once you've got the master, they make a, a silicon mould of it. And into that mould, it's a two-part mould, you fire molten wax. So you end up with lots of wax models. And then they put what's called a sprue on it. You cut that off and file it up and make it all nice and smooth. And then I punch them with my, my maker's mark. That's the process. I think the original one in, in the museum, I think he was carved out of wax and then just put on a tree and, and made of metal. And there's a, that's why there's only one, whereas doing it the way I've done it, hand carving the original, making a mould, then that's where you can replicate them. I don't think the tooling would have changed that much. I mean, obviously, the, the, there has been advances in cleaning up some of the files and things, and you can get much finer files and drills. I mean, I did a lot of it with a, with a pendant motor drill, but I think um, they would have had hand, hand drills, probably. I did have to go back several times to keep checking measurements and checking detail, um, which eventually, I think, has paid off. <laughs> The York Boar Badge represents an exciting discovery, evidence of York's wealth, power and a relationship with kings. Cast in a mould, it was made in silver and then gilded to create a gold finish. Only a few traces of this original gilded surface survive. <laughs>